All right, this one is a tutorial for macro keyboards from a brand called Sayo Device. I got this keyboard like that in a packet and it didn't come with any instructions. Um, but I'm just gonna open it and show it to you now. It, now it comes with 16 keys. There is a USB port right there. And I've got a wire that is pretty long and I'm just gonna open it to show you guys. But I really like the look of the keyboard as it's really shiny and it's built from a good quality. I had some macro keyboards in the past where the wires was just too short. And this one is a USB-C to a USB-A connector. So you can just connect it to your old Macs or for new Mac you need a USB adapter. And the clicking sound is not too bad. They are really nice. They're not too loud as you can see there's red switches underneath so I like red switches personally. Um, this one is 16 keys 4x4. Four four. The wire is pretty good quality. The case itself is pretty good quality and at the back there's like small grips um, which doesn't make it move. Um, and sometimes when you get a package like that you don't get instructions on how to download the software so today i'm going to show you how you can download the software so i will start with the instructions i will post the link in description but what you want to do is you want to go on to this link it will take you to github and go on to download zip once it is downloaded click it and go into the folder select the settings one and click on instructions now it will take you to the instructions which will say how you can set up on the mac because doing it on the windows it's easy you just open the exe file but for mac it's hard so i want you to copy this ch mode command so just highlight it and copy it and this is really important so i want you to go back into the folder and then right click onto the settings and click new terminal add folder here i want you to paste the command and enter another command and put your password in now this will open a web page in safari once you go in the safari i want you to get out of it and go back into the folder and click on to this file what it's doing is basically saying that you can't open this file because it's from unidentified developer and apple doesn't allow it so to work around it you will go into your settings and search for privacy and security and click it and go all the way down and it will say that it's from unidentified developer do you want to open and then you open anyway enter your password and that it will prompt you if you want to open it or not once you open it it will open into the terminal which will be connected to the chrome so every time you open that file it will open a new terminal and then it will open a google chrome in here you want to make sure you're connected and then you can search for a device once you search for device it's going to show up and you click on to that one and this is the screen where you will be programming the keyboard shortcuts. Now this one took me about 10 to 15 days to figure out where the software is and everything. But in this five minute video, I hope it's very clear. You can download the software from the link and then you can connect it using the commands. And you only have to do this setup once. Next time you will just click on to the applications and it will work. And to log out, simply just click on to this button and exit the terminal.